Hi everyone, Rodrigo here once again for one more Power Query video. Today I would like to share with you guys how can we use ChatGPT in order to help us with data modeling or Power Query. So without further ado, let's do it together. Guys, uh, today is the day to start with ChatGPT combined with uh, combined with Power Query. Okay, so to start, firstly, I would uh, I would go I would go to Power BI. I'd like to go to Power BI. Uh, then let's just open the Power BI. So I have here the Power BI, and over there, as you saw the chat GPT. Okay. I'm the screen of chat GPT and Power BI at the same time. First of all, guys, let's click here on the try a sample data set and then load sample data. Then we're going to go to financial sheet. Uh, instead click on load, click on transform data. Okay, guys, because I want to work in power credit. That's why I'm clicking to uh, there. Uh, from here, as you can see in the right side, I have the applied steps of Power Query. This uh, is related to data modeling. Okay, so as you can see here, I have three steps. One step of source, one uh, related to navigation, and one related to chain type. Let's add two more steps in order to be a little bit more uh, specific, the Power Query query okay so i will select for example segment country product and also unit sold then remove other columns so now i have four then i'll go to country and for example filter just canada and mexico and united states okay and us then okay so now as you can see in the right side i have source navigation tent type remove remove the other columns and filter rows as applied the steps all right so let's move on to advanced editor now so click on home section then advanced editor and instantaneously you will see this uh this power query advanced editor related to the coding okay coding behind this uh the power query uh interface all right so if you click it here you can see this code this code is not that much big because the, there are just uh, four or five uh applied steps but this code is related to m language okay m language is a language from microsoft that microsoft created to use with power query and this is the language that we use in order to coding to programming on power query okay we have two ways to prog data modeling on power query the first one is the regular one related to click drag drop then select uh, once you click it something happened but then you will see this apply the steps and if you want to work in order to be more programming in order to be to programming better your power query you can go to advanced editor okay and if you know m language you can just program in over here and then once you click on done the power query you automatically apply the steps in your data set okay but now i want to go to ChatGPT. Uh, just to check if ChatGPT Chat can help us with this code, okay, with M code. First of all, I'll go to ChatGPT and then ask ChatGPT, do you know M language? Then Power, uh, then ChatGPT, not Power Query, ChatGPT will answer us if he knows. I'm called ChatGPT, he, 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 guys. So that's insane. It's because this kind of AI it's like very, very powerful, right? So yes, I'm familiar with M language. However, it's worth nothing that M can refer to different program language depending on the context. Here are a few example. Power Query M. So this is the language that we are uh, looking for, guys. Okay. And from now, could you explain explain me uh, better 
the M language for Power Query. Let's see what ChatGPT answered us. Okay, now I, I did another question. Power Query M, also known simply as M, is a functional programming language used in Microsoft Power Query, as I told you guys. So Power Query is a data transformation and mashup tool that integrate in various uh, Microsoft products such as Excel, Power BI, and Power Automate. Okay, and as you can see here, guys, we we can use we can use ChatGPT in order to know better about the context related to a language okay in this case m m language and we specifically designed it for data transformation tasks and allow uh, which allowed users to query clean transform and reshape data from different sources that's what we do here all right guys that's what we do here on power query so firstly i would share with you this power of chat gpt so we can use chat gpt in order to understand better the concept behind the language okay behind the programming language in this case m from now guys i will use the the chat gpt for one thing more i want to use chat gpt to explain me this code is specifically so i'm gonna just click in advanced editor copy this structure this code then move on to chat gpt and then ask chat gpt could you could you uh explain me and the tails this m code then to dot, then shift enter. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, he said, certainly, please provide the M code. You would like to explain. I will do my best to provide detailed explanation for you. From now, we just paste the code that we copied from Power Query, then enter. Let's click and regenerate. And let's see what ChatGPT can do for us. Okay, it's not working from now. Something happened because I'm in the free version. There is no problem. <coughs> I will just cop over here, click on other new chat, just uh, uh, repaste the the phrase, the prompt. Sorry, then copy the the code and paste over there. Okay copy here and paste here and then move on let's see sometimes at dpt free version just uh, become a little bit confusing uh, because we use it some prompt then if we change the prompt then the uh, the chat gpt understand this is another kind of prompt related another subject we receive that message so one subject for message for example okay from now we have some explanations let's see this m code is writing in power query so perfectly chat gpt just understand uh, where this code comes from uh, with is a data transformation and query language used in Microsoft Power BI and Excel. Let's go through the code step by step to understand what it does. Okay, the code is start with the declaration of variable named source. That's true, guys. We have it here, the variable called source. Okay, then we have we equal sign. Then we have the formula. Okay, the function to do something in Power Query. Uh, the workbook, the value assigned to this variable is the result of loading an Excel workbook. That's perfect. This source is related to load an Excel file. Uh, the workbook is loaded using the Excel workbook. As you can see here, guys, we have this function Excel workbook, which means uh, load an Excel file, all right? Uh, we takes the content of the file as input. In this case, the file path is speci specified as C program. Okay, so uh, ChatGPT just understood that this 
is a function to connect it with an Excel workbook, then extract the file from this path. All right. Uh, then he continue. The next line of the code extracted a specific table named financials. That's true, guys. We did that on here. Financial table. Um, from the loaded workbook. That's true. This is done using this syntax. The the this syntax where the item property specify the name of the table financials and the kind property indicate that it, it is a table the result of this operation is assigned in a variable name financials table let's see here guys we have financial tables and in the code we have financial tables we uh equal source item financial okay financial table will be the result from a source a data source called financial okay this is a, sh a table in an excel workbook that's what chat gpt explained it for us the next line uh, no the, in the tree the line with changes type applies a transformation to financial table variables it should use table transform column times let's see column types table transform column types is related to transform each field of our data source uh, into a specific data type okay so uh, for example segment is a text country is a text product is a text discount by bound band is a text as well unit sold is a number and we have here for example date with the type date okay so here uh, chat gpt just described everything for us okay guys every single transformation that the code uh, did with the f fields okay so segment text country text product blah 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 blah, blah etc okay so here we have all the fields with all the data type that power query automatically uh, applied then the line with remove the other columns select only specific columns from the financial table variable the table select columns function this one guys table select columns function mm is used for this purpose um, the list of columns names to be included specified as segment then we have country product and unit sold okay so as you can see here this is like a column selection in our table and in this code we have segment country country product and unit sold as the fields to keep okay so as you can see here uh, ChatGPT just described this as well. Then the next line, uh, filtered rows, filtered out rows. So ChatGPT just understood that this is related to filter rows, not columns. Okay, to filter columns, the the process that filtered columns is the line four. Okay, remove the other columns. Here it's about filtered rows, and as you can see here, uh, ChatGPT just explain us everything about it so the function table select rows and the conditions okay in this case the condition checks if the value e in the country column is not equal to france or germany this is really nice guys because as you if you remember sorry not as you remember because if you remember when i did the filter uh, here on power query i just click it over here in this uh, icon then I selected then I select Canada Mexico and uh, United States once I click on OK I was in my mind that I just selected the rows that I want to keep but in this case uh, as long as I have more selections true instead false power query just understood that this it's like not use countries uh, related to France or Germany so select the others in this case power query you keep countries different from uh, different than France or Germany okay because I selected more countries uh, the number of the countries that I selected this is higher than the countries that I didn't okay in this case I selected three and I have two without selection that's why power query instantaneously understood uh, that I want to do a country different from 
France or Germany, okay? Uh, so this uh, prompt, this query, it, it's better because perform better because instead just select each one because for example if I select three or four countries there is one selection for the country one country two country three and finally the country four in this case if I use it just the opposite of select like different from I have just two countries that's why power query selected this common this function as the best way to do it this data modeling okay and here on chat gpt we can understand this easily that's how power query work it and that's how chat gpt understood and explained for us uh they can in this case the condition checks if the value in the country column is not equal to france or germany okay that's the difference finally the result table after all the transformation and filter is re is returned as the output of the query okay so as you can see here guys we have six lines in our code and chat gpt just went through each line and understood everything and explained in detail for us the the line the function and the results of each line in our code this is really good to like document our process okay to understand how our code works so i recommend you uh, i highly recommend you to use this in order to understand better, better your codes and how your core codes are structured okay that's that's a good way to use chat gpt in our data modeling process with power query okay but finally i would like to show you this final paragraph which uh which chat gpt just summarized the understood the knowledge from this code for example to summarize this code loads an excel workbook extract a specific table name called financial apply data type transformation to the column select only specific columns then filter out rows where the country is either France or Germany. The result tables in the return as the output. So this is like a summarize of everything, summarize of the code. So this is really good to use as a documentation in your uh, Power Query query. All right. So guys, that's one way to use ChatGPT to help you to increase your data modeling on Power Query. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscriber yet. And please don't forget to share this content with people that you think will be useful. Okay, this is really good for us. This help us to increase our community here on YouTube. Okay, if you have any doubts, any concerns, just leave in the comment below and see you in the next video. Bye.